Good morning, and for most of us, like me, it's a Thursday TB throwback Thursday TBT. So, I want to share with you one of the things that um, shared to me by my maestro, my teacher, um, about the arts that I do. I do Filipino martial arts, also known as Kali, also known as Arnis or Eskrima. And one of the things that people always catch us doing is that we train with sticks and everybody goes, oh, so you're a stick fighter. Um, sticks don't fight each other. <laughs> it's a training tool. It's one of the things that people visually see about what I do and automatically they think that uh, we just train and fight with sticks. So. Let's let's clarify what the idea is about a weapons art that trains with sticks. First of all, they're not regular sticks, they're rattan. And rattan is used because it's fibrous. So there's a science to why we use rattan sticks. Why don't we just go with bamboo? Bamboos are hollow. Or if we go with uh, any hardwoods for training. Um, the old style of Kali used to train where they pick up the stick and they would hit on the arms and limbs and train hardcore. Uh, the problem with that is nobody comes back uh, because we don't have black belts. We have black and blue. <laughs> so nobody comes back to training. Um, then some people started training to where they said, you know what, instead of hitting the body, let's hit the stick. And the stick hitting is not that you don't strike a stick, but we acknowledge the fact that when you make impact on the rattan stick, it symbolizes making impact on the body. The good thing about that is that it shows you that the body doesn't get hurt. It's the stick that absorbs the impact. That's why it's fibrous, because if it's hollow or hardwoods, it vibrates too much, you end up with tendonitis. In the science of training with rattan sticks that absorb the vibrations of impact, it's going to save your body a lot of issues. So that's the beautiful thing about training with Kali. So when you see them walking around with sticks, it's not necessarily always a weapon. How about changing your mindset and saying, he's using this as if he's wearing armor. It's worn, it's carried for armor. Is it used to hit? Absolutely, just as it can also be used to protect. Now, in some circles they say that the Kali sticks also represent the sword. And that uh, in, in the old days it was outlawed to carry any edge weapons in the Philippines by the Spaniards. We couldn't find no such written do written documents where it was outlawed, especially when you're doing a lot of farm tools. I mean, what is wrong with saying, yeah, we train with impact tools because this can represent anything that you pick up. I mean, swords were not that common everywhere where everybody can have availability to, to edge weapons or even carry them, right? So what's wrong with picking up a stick that's available everywhere or picking up any other inanimate object that can be represented like a stick? So when you see the train of Kali and you see all these movements for that, number one, this is the one absorbing all the impact, not my body. This is also can represent other things. I mean, uh, today you have a sword... Uh, it can represent, you know, a flexible weapon because I'm used to having something in my hand to protect myself and I can pick other things. So the beauty of that is it can represent so many other things. Never judge a book by its cover. Anthony reminds me of a, of a video we did uh, and pay homage to rest in peace to uh, 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 King Rain, which is exactly that. Just because you see people train with weapons, automatically they think, oh, you guys are so you know, uh, uh, weapons and dangerous. No, it's not that. It's a matter of just looking at it as this is what we train. These are the tools. You go to the gym, you lift weights. I go to the gym, I train with inanimate objects that represent other things in life. So that's my Throwback Thursday message from my teacher, my cup of joe. Hope you guys have a great time. Enjoy your Thursday. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.